Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, good morning. I just got done at CrossFit and it was a humbling experience. I look literally crazy right now. So we did like all our warm up stuff and we did a workout that was pull ups just to practice those because I can't do a pull up. You would think after all these years that I've been working out and lifting that I could do a pull up. I cannot. I can do them with a band, a couple, but not very many. We're getting there though. That's progress, right? After that, we did a 20 minute AMRAP, which I like barely got into the second round. So it pretty much wasn't an AMRAP, but we had to do a hundred calories on the rower. If you've ever done the rower before, you know that sucks. And then we had to do 75 sit-ups and then 50 pull-ups. And I did them with the band. I had to take several breaks, obviously, because I can't do very many at once. Another humbling day at CrossFit. God knew I would be too powerful if I was good at CrossFit, along with everything else. So, you know, you can't have it all. I was literally out of my pre-workout. I had maybe half a scoop in there, and I dumped as much as I could into a cup of water and tried to drink it. So the fact that I did all that on, like, half a scoop of pre-workout is impressive, right? I have a new pre-workout coming in from Amazon today. It said it was out for delivery yesterday, but yesterday was Sunday, and I don't even think they deliver on Sunday, so I don't know why it said that, but I got a new flavor. You guys know I've been using the PE Science um, Melon Berry Twist. That's been my go-to. I'm trying the Peach Rings one this time, which is um, KK Fitz flavor, and then I swung by Ian's house real quick. That's actually where I'm leaving from because I left my Chipotle there yesterday well it's from saturday night i left it in his fridge and i wanted that for lunch today i went to ian's real quick he was asleep because he had pt this morning so he's taking a nap before he has school we're gonna go home make some breakfast because i am absolutely starving and then do my bible reading and devotional and then i think we're gonna go get my navy ball dress today we're gonna go down to the mall Last year I went to Windsor and they had a lot and they are a lot cheaper down there. And then I need to go to Ulta. I need to figure out what all I need because I might have to go to Sephora as well, but I think I can find what I need at Ulta. And I have a gift card to Ulta, so that's why I want to go there. I'm gonna drive home and jam to some music. We will get on with our day. But thank you guys so much for being here today and following me along while I run errands my fun errands were not it's not really errands at all i'll see you guys when i get home guys i just got home and look at what is sitting on the kitchen table right now my freaking pre-workout i could have had pre-workout for my workout today but i just didn't see it on my table this morning anyways we're gonna make some breakfast now all right so i just made my brekkie it's the same thing i make every day two eggs and chicken sausage. This is the apple chicken sausage. It's from Aldi. And at first I thought the thought of apple chicken sausage sounded weird. It's my favorite one. It's so freaking good. And then unfortunately I made a protein shake. I used my PE Science Cake Pop protein powder. I'm almost out of it. So I'm on the hunt for new protein powder. And then I also added unflavored collagen to this. So I haven't had this um, protein powder in so long. I went through like three or four containers of the cake pot protein. So I'm really picky about protein powder and I couldn't find one that I liked. I literally made myself sick off of this protein powder. Like the thought of drinking it made me feel like I was gonna gag, like it was so bad. So I took a long break from that. I haven't been making protein shakes, but I really wanna get my protein back up. So we're back to the good old protein shakes. And the collagen mix has protein in it too. I wanna say like, 15, 12, 15 grams maybe. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and do my Bible reading. I'm reading Matthew chapter nine today. And then I'm gonna do my gratitude journaling and then we will shower and get ready for the day. guys i'm here with winnie girl net can you say hi to the camera do you see it <laughs> i showered and just slicked my hair back into a ponytail i have the same three people sweatshirt on which looks kind of disgusting but whatever i put on some line leggings and my little 
Ugg Ultra Minis when he's about to be really mad at me because I'm leaving. After I showered, I got a call for a second interview for a job I applied for. I have that tomorrow at 10. She asked my availability and I was like, well, I work Wednesday through Sunday, but I could do Monday or Tuesday. And she's like, how about tomorrow? And I was like, sure. So <laughs> I'm interviewing tomorrow. Right, sissy girl. Are you smiling? I see your teeth. We're gonna get Lanny a C O O K I E. You don't know how to spell. Because I feel bad when I leave her here. Anytime she knows I'm leaving, she looks so pitiful. I feel like a terrible dog sister for leaving her here. So we're gonna do that and then get on the road. All right, we're walking out to my car right now. I got all the essentials and we are gonna head to the mall and listen to some music and I'll see you guys over there. I found a Windsor actually closer to me than Kenwood is. It's like 20 minutes closer in the Liberty Center Mall, which is also, I believe, technically in Cincinnati. We are gonna go to Liberty Center, which is good because it is less tempting for me to spend more money because Liberty is not as big and as tempting as Kenwood is. So unfortunately, we will not be going into free people or anything today. We'll see what's in Liberty Center, actually. I haven't been there in forever. But yeah, we're gonna head that way now. And now I will see you guys when we get there. I just made it to the mall. You can't even see her at all. I'm like above a parking garage and I have to pee really bad. And I kind of forget my way around this mall if I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know where I am. It's an outdoor and an indoor mall. So there's some stores that are just outside and then there's like a big building that has a bunch of stores in it. And I think Windsor is in the big building. So we're gonna go in there and hopefully we will find a dress. Alright you guys, I just got back out to my car and I got my dress. I was going back and forth between the red sparkly one and then the dark green off the shoulder one, but I ended up going with the green one from Windsor. It was a lot cheaper too, it was only 55 bucks, so if you need a cheaper like formal dress, definitely check out Windsor because they had tons to choose from. I decided not to go with the red glitter one because it was more expensive and then also shed glitter everywhere which would be kind of annoying and I feel like the green one is a lot more mature military ball vibes versus the red one felt more like a prom dress. I'm super excited. I will be doing either a get ready with me or a vlog the day of the ball. I'm not really sure which I'm gonna do yet. Probably a combination of both actually. I think that's what I've done the other two years. I'm super excited about that. I am going to drive on over to Ulta. I need to make a list of what all I need so I don't get in there and panic buy and buy stuff I don't need. I just made it to Ulta. You can't see her literally at all. I have a couple things I need to get. I hope I remember everything. My like dark circles look so bad right now. I'm really tired if you guys can't tell, but like, they look awful. I look scary. Sorry I look so scary today, guys. I just got back in the car. I went to Target because I needed some dress shoes for my interview tomorrow because I don't have like professional looking dress shoes or whatever. So I needed to grab some and I figured Target would probably be pretty cheap. I'm gonna go ahead and head on home. It's like 3.52. I wanted to be leaving here by 2.30 or 3. So we're doing great. All right, you guys, it is the next day, so I wanted to show you guys a quick haul before I ended the video. 
I did get my dress. She's up there. But then I went to Ulta and Target. So I'm going to show you guys a haul. I only got one thing at Target, which is what I went in for, which is crazy of me because it is not easy to go into Target and just get what you came for. But I got a pair of shoes for my interview I actually went to this morning, which went really well, by the way. But I got these dress shoes because I don't own dress shoes. So I got these little black slide on shoes. They're super cute. They're good for like when I need to be professional like I was for my interview this morning, but they'll also be cute with like jeans and a sweater, I feel like. So I'm really excited about them. We have a very full bag from Ulta. I restocked on my Tree Hut um, sugar scrub. I got the Tropic Glow scent this time. I had, I think, sugar cookie in my previous one. And this just smells so good. It smells very summery, which it's October, so maybe I should have gotten a fall scent. But they didn't have any of the fall scents I've seen, like, on TikTok. I've seen the pumpkin spice one. They didn't have that there. And I got the matching shave oil. Nessie got me started on this, and it's literally so nice. I use this to shave my legs. I also got it in the Tropic Glow. <sighs> It just smells so good to me. I restocked my toner. I use the Murad Clarifying Toner. Um, this is in the blue line. They have different colored lines. I can't, I think blue is the acne one. If I'm remembering correctly, I'm not really sure. They have a couple lines, but I get the blue toner and I really love it. It's worked really well for me. I stocked up on my Morphe setting spray. I just use the regular one. I'm gonna try the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. I usually use um, Better Than Sex or I have an Ilia one right now and I'm just trying to find drugstore ones that work for me. So we're going to try that one out. Hopefully it works well. And I got my e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Primer. I get the green one. I love this primer. It's so good. And then my NYX white eyeliner. The last thing I got is this e.l.f. concealer. And if you guys have watched my makeup videos, you know I've been using the Clinique. Um, even better concealer for forever but I actually use this concealer to um, contour with and I have my Charlotte Tilbury contour too. Sometimes I use the e.l.f. concealer instead and I really like it. I feel like it blends really well and I just love the product so I wanted to try their concealer. I'm hoping I got the right shade because they don't have testers in the e.l.f. section. I got medium neutral so hopefully that color works if not I can return it and get a different color. That is my haul. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. Leave a comment down below and subscribe and I will see you all in next week's video.